Good afternoon, my fellow youths. It's a pleasure speaking to us at this time, especially in a time like this where the whole world is facing a challenge which has become one of the high points of every discourse or news internationally. And as a mark of the Anglican Youth Fellowship Week, Church of Nigeria, Anglican Communion, it's important we bring you a little charge just as an instruction to guide us as young people who are the leaders of today and tomorrow in a time like this. I'm taking our charge from the Anchor Youth Fellowship of Nigeria national team for this year 2020 in First Timothy chapter 6 verse 6 that godliness with contentment is a great gain for we brought nothing into this world and is certain we can carry nothing out and having food and raiment let us be there with content but they that will be rich fall into temptation and the snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts which drown men in destruction and perdition talking about now godliness with contentment now it is trying to draw our attention that in the world that we are into the first reason why we are created just as the bible said in Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 13 that we should fear the lord and do his commandment that's the whole duty of man so every man is created of god is charged with the responsibility to fear the lord godliness is not something someone should um, neglect in life is a necessity of life that every human being should be godly and uh, in being godly we ought to be godly with contentment and that means that god has a plan for every one of us and uh, what we just need to do is to seek of the lord what the lord has designed every one of us to become as human beings especially as youths why we come to the lord to gain of him and to know of him the reason why he created us our life and our path becomes easy for us to tow and to live um, the bible speaking in this place talking in verse 9 says but they that will be rich now that verse 9 doesn't mean that we that the lord is really really out being rich as something bad no it only means that just as the bible said in matthew that we should seek for the kingdom of god in righteousness but everyone shall be added unto us it only means that in our cleaving to become wealthy we should do that in such that we place the lord first if we begin to pursue after which is out of our own personal desire and longing that is where we fall into the temptation the snare that the bible is, is pointing out in that verse 9 but if we seek the lord if we pursue after being godly living for the lord all our life the riches of the world of course belongs to us because god himself is the, the richest being in the universe and everything that there is that is good comes from him all we need to do is to pursue after the things of life in line with the will of god why we follow the will of god why we seek god in every bit of what we do as youths and as individuals generally life becomes easy for us to gain the good things of life live fulfilled and return back to the lord who made us with a reasonable account because we should still bear in mind that we all here are pilgrims one day we we'll all go back to our maker so, in this line i just want to charge us young people to live godly focus your attention on the things of god take out this time that the world is passing through this challenge to reflect back in your life how have your life been have your life been so that, that that pleases the lord before now you didn't believe that a thing like this could happen in the whole world but we are seeing it play out before us and that is telling us that the lord is the one in charge of all humanity and the world at large so let's take out this time to reflect back on our lives and try to align ourselves with the lord live a godly life that's the essence of life pleasing the lord let us live to please him and our days will be prosperous both on earth and we have an eternal glorious end the lord bless us as we obey his word in jesus name